All right, Tracy. Uh, you got uh, this uh, Highland guy is a, is a heck of a fighter, and uh, people expect great things out of him. And you're, you've helped him along the way. I mean, can you tell us a little bit about Patrick? Well, Patrick is a hard worker. Um, he came to me about three years ago, and then uh, his father, who, who also trains him over in Ireland, and uh, he got together with uh, a good friend of mine, Brian Burke who teamed up with uh, Final Round Promotion and Team Snooky, and he wanted to come over here to have a professional trainer, you know, full-time professional trainer, work with him uh, to help get him to where he is. Uh, we'll be on a December 8th. Well, you know what? Uh, the word is out that, you know, not only were you a champion and a ter tremendous fighter, but uh, you have a, a feel for, uh, for training. You. You, you know, and your dad, your father must have instilled something in you also. I, mean, I was wondering if you could, if he, if he left you with certain things that you could share. Well, my, my, my father was a great, great uh, technical fighter. He was, he was a good teacher of the game, you know. And I think being him as a, as a great teacher and also being a student of, of boxing and watching different fights and different fighters, you know, do different things, and I've also been with other trainers. Also, it, it it also it helps along the way to gain experience. You know, being being with different people, and also being in the action. Yeah. So I think um, that plays a big part on you know how you how you work with a fighter as well as being a professional expert professional fighter myself. Right. Well, your dad was very low keyed guy. It seemed uh, you know, like you said, methodical, and he was a he was a more, more of a cerebral type person. Uh, right, I met him a right. few times, and I guess, are you that way as a trainer? No, I I, I basically let things happen, you know, with, with the fight. I let the fighter be himself. You know, maybe cor you know correct a few things, see something that he may not be doing enough, uh, and and correct him that way. But um, most of the fighters that I that I've trained so far in professional events have been well established, like like Patrick. Patrick came to me well established. His father did a fine job with him, you know. So it's easy when a guy comes to you that you don't really have to do that much, but just help him a little bit, maybe at your set of eyes, maybe tell him not to run as hard, not to slow it, take it easy a day or two. But other than that, Patrick, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he knows what he has to do. Well, we know that you're going to be a steadying force in the corner for him, and uh, want to wish you all the best of success and. Uh, uh, as they always say, a chip off the old block. You had you, your father was one of the great. He was a great person, and uh, I know that you're the same way. So I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.